Welcome back, everyone, to another Coach Blakers podcast. Today, 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 we're going to be talking about um, limit testing. We're going to be talking about why we do it, what it does, pretty much just everything about limit testing. I feel like limit testing is important, and I feel like if you don't limit test in the right way, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to climb and very, very difficult for you to improve. Um, so we're going to just look at a quote real quick, and we are going to then hop into it. So, of course, if you guys would like coaching, coachbucket.com is where you want to go. Um, I do have a new beta service out where we do it together. Check that out. Get information on that. Um, and then we also have the other three options, VOD reviews, if you guys don't have time for actual full coaching session, VOD review with coach, where we sit down together and go over a VOD review, or an actual coaching session, coachbucket.com is where you want to go. Your first session on my site, your first session on my site will be $5 off if you use the code first. So make sure you get on into that if you guys are interested in improving your play. So the quote that we have today is, keep testing the limits of your abilities and every morning you will be an upgraded version of yourself. Let me read it one more time. Keep testing the limits of your abilities, and every morning you will be an upgraded version of yourself. Mashir Malik. So, why, like, what, what does that mean? If you keep testing your limits, whether it be in real life or in League of Legends, but we're talking about League of Legends right now, which that's what we're talking about, um, you will improve. You will get better. You will, you'll know, like, what exactly is happening. So, let's go ahead and just, let's just Google uh, limit test. So, define limit test. All right. Limit testing is a very general term that refers to testing um, the testing of any component substance to a defined limit, usually required on a case-by-case -case basis that is a niche to one client. So pretty much they're basically saying when you're doing something that is exceeding the limits of the actual party or client that you are doing it for. So as an example, when we compare this to League, we'll say limit testing is I'm 5-0 with Riven and I think I can 3v1. Let's try it. Um, or maybe I'm top lane and I'm getting ganked. Or maybe I'm bot lane and I'm getting ganked. Let's try to turn this fight and we could 2v3. Or, or mid lane 1v2. You know, something like that. Like, that's limit testing. Now, like I said, you have to know when it's the right time to limit test. So how do I know when the right time is limit test? If I am 5-0 and and if I'm 10-0? Like, how do I know what, like, how can I push myself to capacity if I don't even know where that capacity is? Um... A lot of the times people don't know they can do something. And when I'm coaching them, I'm like, go do that. And they're like, I can't do that. And it's like, yes, you can. You're strongest. You're super strong. Like, how do I know that they're super strong? And they don't know that they're super strong. Yet they're playing the character. Yet they're in the game. And I'm all doing is watching. Limit testing not only helps you, but it helps you understand the limits of the other champions you are going against. So, for example, if I am, let's say, I don't know, we'll say Warwick. And there is a Gwen on the enemy team. And I want to limit test something. I'm going to limit test, can I actually fight her if I use my E, the, the thing that reduces damage? Can I fight Gwen if I use that reduced damage? You fight Gwen? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, hmm. uh, next time. Uh, what if I Q her Q and get behind her? Tries again. Actually kills her. It's the same situation. Just limit test it a little, a little bit differently, right? You don't just give up. You say, I can't ever fight him. If you can try to figure out a way to win, there you go. Everything can be uh, tested in some sort of fashion. But like I said, you have to make sure it is correctly done. You cannot limit test if it's like Dragon is going to be taken and you're the only one alive. Let's try to do something about it. That's not limit testing. That's just being foolish. Okay. Limit testing usually occurs when you have no other choice other than to run or try to save something or try to do something. Um, usually when you're going to limit test, you don't want to just flat out go do it. It should be a situation you can't really avoid. Um, and if you do try to avoid it, things might go worse. So you try anyway. That's what limit testing is. So let's just say I'm, once again, I'll just use Riven. I'm Riven pushing bot and I'm 5-0, and oh, right? And I know that their top laner is useless because I stomped them. So I know that I can kill them one-on-one. -on -one. Their jungler shows up and my team is getting ready to do Baron. And their jungler is there. So I can 2v1. I can either run or I can limit test. If I run, what's going to happen is they're probably going to go reverse back to get Baron or, you know, whatever. The team should be able to get it by the time the jungler gets over there. Or I could try to fight him and try to win that 1v2. And even though I do die, we still pick up the Baron. That is a calculated limit test. If I die, nothing really happens and we still get, a, we still get ahead of it. You don't want to just randomly die and then be like, I, I was limit testing. 
That's not how it works, right? You have to really, really, really know that your death isn't going to be that crucial to the game most of the time if you can avoid it. Um, another situation of limit testing is maybe you're playing Samira, right? You're playing Samira or uh, maybe not everybody plays Samira. Let's just use Caitlyn, whatever. We're playing Caitlyn. And you're limit testing. You know Talon's going to come over this wall. What if I put a trap on me and then I net backwards and then like uh, then I keep shooting him and then like I maybe flash to the side to dodge his, his ult or his W or something like that and then um, I kill him? And so you try it. You put the trap near you. He hops on the trap. You net backwards. Then he still kills you. And you're like, well, wait a second. What happened? It's not because the champion just kills you outright. You just played it poorly. And then you learn from that experience and you play it better. The problem is when you're limit testing, you don't really get a lot of chances to do that in a game without throwing your game. So <laughs> most of the time when you are limit testing, I would say have a, a, a decent gold amount because when you do have your stats, you do have your damage, you're already technically stronger than everybody. So if you do mess up, most of the time you won't die. It'll just be really, really, really close. Um, but if you are like behind, obviously limit testing doesn't do anything for you because you're not really learning anything I'm at that point. So... You definitely do want to make sure that you are limit testing in a solid environment. It doesn't matter what champ you are. doesn't matter what role you are. As long as you are doing it at the proper times in your games, limit testing will be very, very useful. It turns you into a monstrous of a player if you do it properly and you do it consistently. Like I said, a lot of times I'll be coaching and I'll be like, you can kill him. And they're like, no, I can't. Yes, you can. You're super strong. No, I can't. How do we know? How do you know you're strong? Level differences. Item differences. Um... You can, you, you can outplay somebody just by being better than them. You could be behind, but if you're better than them, you, you can outplay if your champion's mechanical, like Yasuo's or Yone's or, um, you know, stuff like that, Zed's. A lot of you guys know, you mechanical players, a lot of you guys know that you guys can outplay people very, very easily when your character has mechanics and theirs doesn't, because usually people with mechanics tend to limit test a little bit more. Why? Because that's how you play the champion. You can't really play Yasuo without limit testing almost all the time. You can't play uh, Zed without limit testing almost all the time. You can't really play them safe, right? There's no way to be safe. Limit testing is more or less a way to be out of your comfort zone for a little bit to try to figure out how to do something. If you're always safe, you probably aren't going to do it that often. But if you're a champ that has to do certain things to be effective, you're going to have to kind of go out your comfort zone a lot more often than other people. You know, other people, like I said. We use Yasuo, that guy, that guy has to dash around. That guy has to play team fights properly. That guy has to like move around a lot. If you look at Zerath, how often is he limit testing? The only way Zerath limit tests is if he's like in front of somebody or the, the person comes close to him. That's how you're limit testing that. But the often amounts of times that that happens is very, very rare because Zerath doesn't want to be in front of people. It's only if like assassins jump on him. Then he has to like try to outplay. And in which case, you have another option, right? It's usually when you have another option other than to just fight, that is your point to limit test. Um, because, I mean, unless you're just, like I said, caught out. Like, that's a different story. But if you have no way out, you might as well try to do something to be relevant. You, want, you might as well try to do something to uh, nullify the, 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 the damage of the situation. So every role can do it. Every champ can do it. You just have to figure out how you're doing it. You have to figure out, you know, how much can I take? How much how, how much can how much can I deal? How much can I take? What are the odds of being outplayed? How can I outplay them? Um and you'll eventually find how much damage you do, how much damage you take. If you're a champ that has shields, you can be pushed a little bit further because you can shield yourself. Um, if you're a champ that has heals, once again, you can push a little further. Um, ADCs do this all the time. ADCs usually will wait until they're super low. Not really super low all the time, but you know, super low to heal right you have adcs and you have players that just flash instantly and you have players that flash sometimes a little too late and they die but even limit testing with that summoner you wait till you absolutely have to burn it and then you burn it that is limit testing it's a game of chicken right if you've never limit tested before you probably would instantly flash all the time but these, these are the newer players these are like irons bronze silvers sometimes golds um You'll flash instantly. You won't wait for the right moment. You'll just like, I'm done. Instantly flash away. Um, now, there are certain times where you want to instantly flash away. I'm not going to say there isn't. But a lot of times I'm coaching them. They're not, they're not really in danger. It just looks like they're in danger. And then they just flash out anyway. And uh, that's not limit testing. Limit testing would be like, how, can, how long can I hold my flash? And then you get away with 10 HP. And you're like, boop, that's good. And you'll see that a lot with like challengers and pro players and whatnot. Um, even on my stream sometimes, you'll see that I'll tank a tower. 
and I won't flash or heal, and I'll just sit there, and I'll be at 10 HP after the tower ticks, and I just back. I didn't have to heal or flash. But in the same scenario, a lot of players do heal and flash. Once again, it's limit testing. It's knowing things by trying it out, you know? Will I die by this tower shot? Yes, I died. Okay. And then you take that information, and the next time, you know that you probably won't die, or you probably will die, and therefore you have to flash out, or you have to heal yourself. Um, that's the best way to get better at League. And if you're not limit testing, you're probably not improving at the rate that you should be improving because limit testing is where it's at. But once again, you have to be, you have to calculate your limit tests. This goes with macro calls as well, right? Calling Baron limit test. It might not seem like it, but if you're calling a 20 minute Baron and your whole team's over there and you guys do it, but you guys get killed, that's limit testing. It might not be the traditional version of it, but you're limit testing. You're finding out how much damage does my team actually do. Oh, we have a gin. That's why it took so long. Well, I can't call 20 minute Baron with gins. I'd never call it with gems, by the way. If you are gen on my team, we're not getting married for at least another 10 minutes from that. But that's a way of knowing. You have to try it to then know if it's the right or wrong play. Sometimes when you have like a Vayne and a Viego and like a Yasuo, you can shred Baron at 20 minutes, no problem. Once again, you have to try it. And you have to call these Barons more often. You have to uh, call these dives more often. Even diving is limit testing. Like everything is limit testing. And when you're waiting for the proper moment to call do, to call anything, when you're waiting for the proper moment to do anything, when you're waiting for the proper moment to fight anything, you're not limit testing and your gameplay will suffer significantly. As I said, there is a proper way to limit test and there's proper timings to limit test. Um, I can't really like tell you, I guess, but just know that, you know, it should be a death that doesn't cost you anything. If you do die, you still manage to get whatever you want to, do, to get accomplished. Um, if you guys have any questions on limit testing or if you guys, you know, are still unsure about how to limit test and whatnot, and whatnot like that, you know, feel free to book a session and we could go over things kind of in your game about limit testing um, as well as co cover other things. But just let me know, like, hey, you know, I'm also trying to learn how to limit test a little bit more often. You know, what, what about this game? Does this game, you know, speak that much? Or you can play one and then we'll just obviously go over the replay after you're done playing and we'll look at more things about, oh, you could have done that. Oh, you could have done that. Oh, you're actually strong enough to do that. That way you get an idea of how to limit test. You get an idea of what it looks like and how to really, really go ahead. Because League of Legends is not really always about the right and wrong decision. Sometimes the wrong decision is the right decision in some games. And sometimes the right decision is the wrong decision in some games. And when you know how to limit test properly, you can really cover up the bad decisions with just I'm that good at knowing. Um, and you can call a lot more plays because you understand like it might be a close, 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 close call. But I know that it will work type of play and then you can really give your team a, a fat lead for it so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for listening i do appreciate it this is another coach blakers podcast we will have another coach blakers podcast tomorrow if you guys want anything specific talked about let me know in the comments below and i will get on those videos for you guys and we can make those podcasts happen i will be streaming today at 12 p.m central every day at 12 p.m central i'll be streaming so if you guys want to stop by ask any questions feel free feel free i'm claiming my support account so once that is platinum, then we will move on to the mid lane account. Once that's platinum, then we'll move on to our main to make it diamond. And then we'll make all the other accounts diamond too. So the goal is to have all roles diamond, um, just like I was already doing in the other seasons as well. So it's pretty much the same thing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. I do appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day or night whenever you are watching this or listening to this. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for your support.